primetime news this evening, Bloody Sunday, gunmen execute eight and injure nine in the most brutal gun attack in Jamaica's recent history. We will hunt the terrorists. Government talking tough as it pledges to put the squeeze on all gangs. And four men already in custody as the police begin operations in Clarendon community. Good evening and welcome to Primetime News on air and online at onespotmedia.com. I'm Archibald Gordon. And I am Andrea Chisholm. Special welcome as well to our viewers on TVJ International in the Cayman Islands. With a preview of what's to come in business news, here's Javon Keys. Well, Andrea, we've been speaking about the central bank digital currency Jamdex for quite some time. Well, the only player, at least publicly, in the central bank digital currency wallet market, NCB, is saying that take-up of that currency is low. I'll tell you why later on. Thank you, Keys. And Jeremy Brown is here with a preview of what's coming up in the big show. Well, thank you, Archie. Well, the post-mortem continues into uh, the performances of Jamaica's athletes at the just-concluded Olympic Games in Paris, uh, France. We'll give you a few of their reactions a bit later on. Thank you, Jeremy. There's also sports commentary, E-Prime, and weather in this newscast. But before the break, the feedback question. And this evening, we're asking, what are your thoughts on the mass shooting incident in four parts Clarendon. Share comments online, facebook.com slash television Jamaica and post on X at TVJ News Center. Stay with us, the news in detail after the break.